We are continuing our team coverage. A lot of people spent the day relaxing with family and friends, soaking up the last days of summer. News 2's Delilah James joins us live from the Iowa Palms Connector. And Delilah, you've been at the beaches all day. Give us an idea of what you've been seeing as far as the traffic flow where you are. Carolyn, yeah, that's right. I've been on the Isle of Palms, Sullivan's Island and Folly Beach, and the traffic has been pretty steady for the most part. But many people I spoke to told me they won't let this weather stop their fun. Gray skies and a little rain are something residents say will not spoil their plans this holiday. Rain does not stop fun for us, right, Kane? No, sometimes you just got to look fear in the face and tango with them and rain is not going to get in the way. Here in the low country, many parades and fun activities are happening. Some people are spending time with loved ones, soaking up the last days of summer. We all work a lot, so it's nice to kind of all have the same time off and just kind of take advantage of the good weather before it gets cold. It's also like a motivating thing of like, okay, you work hard and you get a day off and um, you kind of take advantage of the time to relax. And you also kind of, I feel like it's a time to be grateful that there's work and freedom. Local law enforcement agencies are reminding visitors to follow the rules and guidelines while at the beach. And if you plan on celebrating, make plans to have a designated driver before you head out. We've already made a few charges over the weekend for driving under the influence. So if you are out here and you're consuming alcohol at one of our establishments or you've been to a party here at somebody's house, I always encourage you to use a ride share. Get somebody to take you carpool, ride share, taxi, Uber, Lyft, whatever it is. Don't drive yourselves if you're impaired find somebody to drive for you so that you can get home safely and you don't wind up having to go to jail or hurt somebody on your way to wherever you're going. Officials tell me they will be out patrolling the beaches all night and if the rules are broken, you can face a hefty fine or jail time. Reporting on the Isle of Palms, I'm Delilah James, Count 1-2.